Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Sol here and today is Tuesday, April 25 and we have Dr. T Tropical Island Archipelago. As you can see, I have, I'm at or I'm using my low level account. This is an HQ16, Radar at 16, a Gumboot at level 17. I have a bunch of uh, uh, landing crest at level 16. I actually have three at level 16. Two at level 15 and then just the baby one, which is now going to level 13. I'll show you my last attack right here to give you an idea what is the level of my troops and what is the level of my boost. The only difference now is that I have an extra, a uh, little bit more um, damage in the masterpiece. I think I replaced a 20, a 21 with a 24, if I'm not mistaken. So I think that the, that the damage, the troop damage is a little bit higher. Now, um, I don't have a lot of time today. I, I still have to clear a bunch of this, uh, of the NPC buildings. I'll do them after I do my attacks, Dr. T. Uh, I'm gonna head and boost my, my statues as normal. Cause uh, you know, I, I'm all about the offense. So as, as long as I can upgrade one of those landing crafts or something like that, I'll be happy. So uh, yeah, give me a second and uh, actually, I'm gonna clear the NPCs now and I'll be back once I do to start showing you how to take Dr. G. All right, so chess is done. Let's go ahead and check out the first stage of Dr. T. Um, pretty, this looks pretty similar to what we saw before. But in any case, you can do this with all riflemen, with all sukas, it really doesn't matter. You could, um, you could almost do it also with just heroes. But here we go. Just grab a little bit. Wait till he fires the first time. Once he fires the first time, then flare next to him or, or flare directly to him. There we go. Um, and, just, and just destroy him. If you have battle orders, activate battle orders to reduce your damage output or your damage that you, you know, the incoming damage. Heal if you need to heal. And after that, it's just... It's peanuts, guys. It should it should not be that hard to beat stage number one. Should be easy resources for you. All right, pretty good. Let's take a look at now stage number two. See if we can. We'll, we'll probably. I'm probably gonna do it with just um, two boats. You know, I'm doing one boat per stage. Now here with the rocket launcher, you have to be a little bit more careful. Um, you probably have access to shocks. If you don't have access to shocks, then use your mech kits as a sort of smoke screen. You know, to heal you as you go through. Um, but the idea is you want to make make way towards the shadow of the rocket launcher as soon as possible obviously with the with the iron wheel it's going to be a lot better so here we go i'm going to land my troops i'm going to land two plus the hero yeah. like i said we're going to make it all the way to the top use your use your um use your iron wheel to sort of shield you from from the from the damage. Hope that I don't end up losing my, my hero, but it really doesn't matter at the end. Target the target the cannon first, because that's what's gonna kill you. The rocket launcher cannot fire because you're on the on the on the shadow of his of his range. And just as easy as that, guys, we got stage number two. Should not be that hard to do. Even if you have like 18 riflemen or 12 riflemen, it, this should this should not be that hard. Especially, let's say, if you're going in, weaken that, that cannon a, a little bit. But if you're using riflemen, I mean, if you lose 10, 12 riflemen, at the end, it's not going to be uh, that problematic. Riflemen load so quick. And you know, if, one thing, if you take one thing, only one thing from what I'm trying to show you in these videos, is that riflemen and suka are powerful from the beginning. That's all I've uh, used. I've used warriors. Heavies here and there, but you see me, I'm using Rifleman Suka most of the time um, on this account. I, actually, I would say like 99% of the time I've been using Rifleman Suka. And stage number three, it looks it looks scary at the beginning, but none of this stuff has range on the other side of the base. 
So what you want to do is land your troops. This time I'm going to land three troops or three boats. It's going to be uh, one boat of riflemen, one boat of suka, one boat of riflemen, and my hero. I'm going to make it here to this side. Grab as much stuff as you can. Remember, you unlock shocks at HQ level 4, if I'm not mistaken. So something that you want to make use. You're going to see me. I'm going to land that, more, that shock right there in the front. Once I do that, I'm going to go in front of the mortar because I need that mortar to be killed. Activating battle orders. Not because I needed to, just because, <laughs> because it was fun to do. I'm going to cover my troops. I'm going to retreat. <clears throat> Let the rifleman take the lead. And there we go, guys. Stage number three. It's down for the count. Pretty easy. Pretty easy, not not that hard, especially with the layout that we had today. It was it was not a problem. We did not end up losing a single troop. And now we're already on stage number four. So let's see if we can make this happen. Let's see what we got here today. All right, so this mortar mm, may have range on our troops, but I'm not going to kick... It, it, we're not going to care too much about that. So we have a couple of choices we can make. And I think uh, I'm going to destroy. Let's see. What are we going to do? Let's see what we're going to do. Because, I mean, we can we can sort of go on this way and deal with all this stuff together. And I think that the end, that's what, gonna, what, that's what we're going to end up doing. I'm going to destroy this guy with GBE. I'm gonna destroy this guy with GBE. I'm gonna use all my all my troops. However, I'm gonna use ever. Um, I'm gonna keep using break on this attack. So I'm gonna destroy this guy with GBE. Maybe this guy too with GBE. Um, and then land on the left side and go around. I think that's gonna be the best the best case scenario. So let's go for it. One artillery, one barrage, one artillery should be plenty to destroy that. And if not, I'll be damned. It's not. So, one more. In fact, I I have um I've decided against it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on this side on the bottom part because we have the medics. We should be able to then take care of this. I'm going to I'm going to land my troops right here. One, two, wait a second. Everybody's going to target the, met, the rifleman. There we go. Medic should be healing everything else. And now I'm going to activate the battle order just when that flamethrower starts firing. That way I can save on the... I can save on the shock. Now at this point is where I'm going to shock. And at that point, that's when I shock and then... The last machine gun should not be problematic. Now I'm going to make it here to this side. Rocket launcher should start firing soon. At which point I can decide to activate the battle orders if I thought... Uh, not the battle orders, the iron wheel. Um, if, I, if I wanted to. But I'm pretty sure my guys or my girls, whatever you want to call them. They can actually withstand the, 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 the shots of the rocket launcher together with the medics. So now it's just a matter of time. I'm going to lose a couple of riflemen, mainly due to the combination of the sniper towers just pounding me. They they shoot, they take two shots to kill me. That in combination with the rocket launcher uh, ensures that I will have casualties. But at the end, I think, I think that what I ended up doing was a lot better because it allowed me to bypass all those machine guns and flamethrowers on the other side. Um, plus, there were a bunch of mines that I wouldn't have, that I wouldn't, wouldn't be able, I wouldn't have been able to to outmaneuver because I would have used all my um I would have used all my GB. I just got a comment on the video. Um who it was. I cannot check now. But thank you for the comments. Let's go ahead and reinforce our troops. We lost 19 riflemen. Let's take a preview stage number five. Let's figure out if we can take him out. And if we can, I will try my best to do. 
And if we don't, then that's about it. So we have rocket launchers at level at level nine with a sufficient amount of health. We have a bunch. We have a bunch of machine guns. They don't have range on my troops, but these mortars right here, they do. Um, and they're just gonna rag my troops. So I think the best bet scenario is gonna be try to destroy this too with GBE. Let's see if I have enough GBE for that. I don't have I don't have my calculator handy. And this is one thing I always like to do. Just drop the brush. Let's test the attack out. Let's see if it's gonna work. Let's see, one, two, three. Oh, we're so close. All right, so five. Now, question is, would I be able to smoke my troops? So I would need one smoke and two smokes. Um, and then smoke back here. One, two, three. Yeah, and then essentially will be to shock here. We have enough. We have enough for that. So we'll be able to, to manage this attack like that. So that's all the plan, guys. So I'm going to reload my troops and see if we can do this that way. Um, I have to decide whether or not we want to do Sergeant Brick um, or if we want to do the hacking ability. I think I think um, Brick's Iron Will initially for the landing is going to be good. Because we can do it for the landing and we can maybe save some of the smokes that way. Uh, they're going to hit us. And by the time we can do a one smoke landing, that's what I'm trying. That's what I'm trying to say. So let me let me go ahead and retreat. I'm going to keep using um, break with Iron Whale. Um, and then we'll figure out in a second um, if we'll be able to take this stage down. See how much time, more time. So seven minutes, guys. I'll be back. Seven minutes of my time. One second of yours. All right, guys, so troops are loaded. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, we have a few less sukas than we want to, but here's the plan. Like I said, I'm going to barrage those mortars out of the way. Hopefully, we'll be able to destroy them with uh, one and two artillery. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'll send the third one. Instead. Oh, that was okay want to do i want to destroy that one um, yeah we should all right and like i said i'm going to going to land i'm gonna land one of these guys right here followed by this and then everybody else i'm gonna use um break that way no all right okay let's go ahead and start smoking to the top we cannot lose the medics. We cannot lose the medics. Come on, medics. Make it all the way to the top. Stop lollygoggling around. No! All right. No, this is not going to work, guys. Losing our medic sucked. I should have just killed all that stuff directly and just go for it. And that ended up biting me in the butt. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure we're not going to beat this this time. Oh, no. The sniper tower stopped firing. We are in luck. We will defeat this. Even though we have, like, crazy casualties. There were a few things that I made that I made wrong. That sort of landing was horrible. Thinking, oh, yeah, you can sort of out damage or, or, or essentially shield your, your Sukas from the rocket launcher by using Everspark. Or not Everspark. Um, Sergeant Brick uh, Iron Wheel and that just just it was plain wrong it did not work don't do that you will be better served if you just shock those buildings in front of you save that smoke and kill the stuff here and then go from there um, that was a very bad decision on my part glad that it ended up working but we almost didn't make it guys so 
That was stage number five. Let's take a look at stage number six. Let's see if we'll be able to defeat it. See if we have the right troops. I'm going to start loading just in case. Um, but normally, stage six is pretty tough, guys. Uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Yeah, this is crazy. All right, so we have one rocket launcher. What about... We'll, we cannot do it with warriors. HP is too large to do it with warriors. Um, we can flank... We can use... Okay, so we can use Everspark to hack this. Get that rocket launcher destroyed. Then um, smoke everybody to here, including the medics, and just start destroying this stuff. Then we only have to really deal with that rocket launcher, which has a massive amount of damage potential. He's going to be able to do to us about 90 um, HP points of damage per second. And then we have all these mortars in here. Um... We can do without, we can, we, we can go by without using, with just using heavies. The only problem is that this more, this sniper towers are going to wreck me. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it with Rifle Masuka. Like I said, Rifle Masuka is the bread and butter of this combination. Uh, we'll be, um, I'm going to insta finish this boat. It's going to be 28 diamonds. That way we'll go fully loaded. We'll go in fully loaded. Um, and we'll use this this same combination. That's this is what we're gonna do. Oh wait, can we use can we use grenadiers on this attack? Let me see. Maybe we can use grenadiers. Grenadiers might be a good idea. Yeah, grenadiers is an excellent idea. Because essentially, look at all this stuff right here. Um, the only problem might be that we might not have enough damage potential to destroy all this stuff right away. And that's a real problem because with all these defenses here, I'm pretty sure that we can we can push through. The problem is, are we going to have enough damage to, to kill all this stuff in time before the timer runs out? Uh, I'm not that confident that we will. But this is a great place to use your Grenadiers. Kill this with GBE. Um, you know, hopefully you can kill this and that Sniper Tower with GBE. And then just go ahead and just kill all this stuff with with um with the troops so i don't, I don't know guys if i fell with the rifleman i'm definitely gonna try with grenadiers after after this so uh yeah give me give me one second of your time and i'll be back to en engage on this stage Thank you. 